Hey guys, it's Coach Jason from Level Up Gym here in Bowie, Maryland. Today we're gonna to go over one of my favorite techniques, which is the spin kick, but also more importantly, how to set it up and how to execute it properly. Okay guys, so first things first, uh, we wanna make sure that we have the proper technique for it. So we're just gonna kinda of go over how um, I make sure I'm stepping into the right spot. Um, I do have a Taekwondo and Kyokushin background, so throwing spinning techniques is, um, uh, is pretty natural for me. But uh, training over the years, I actually met a coach uh, from Holland, Coach Burt, a good friend of mine, who uh, showed me how to, to continue with my hook motion to help me get a little bit more weight into the kick. So I always felt comfortable spinning, uh, but after he showed me how to add this hook into it, I felt like it was more heavy uh, and I felt more balanced, which obviously always gonna make for a better kick. So first things first, uh, we're just gonna kinda go over that piece of it, and then we'll go over the setup and uh, how to land it, what we're looking for. So uh, when I'm standing in front of someone, I always focus on being square. So when I talk about square, our shoulders are kind of on the same line, our, our feet are lined up. I always talk to my students, uh, you want to use feet like tracks. So her lead foot is on the same track as my back foot, her back foot is on the same track as my lead foot. Now when I go to throw this spinning technique, I want to step across this uh, lead track that her front foot and my back foot are making. So in slow motion, as I'm doing this, when I carry through the hook like we were talking about before, I'm gonna step right past that lead foot here. Okay. So that first motion, I'm ending up past that lead leg. Very important, okay? Because now I'm also out of that normal punching range for her to uh, hit me. I don't wanna really get caught in the back of the head. So I wanna make sure that I step past there. And again, like I said, we're talking about balance issues, so we wanna make sure that we're out of the way and we have better balance when we throw this kick. So again, I'm stepping past that lead leg, step one, here. Step two, I always want to make sure that if I spin, I spot. So by spotting, I mean my head goes around and I'm making sure that they're actually still there and I'm not going to get um, you know, swept or anything like that. So step one, pass that lead leg. Step two, I spot and now from here, I can bring my kick up. Okay, for me, um, I feel like the liver is my enemy and I'm always trying to destroy it and this is one of my favorite techniques to get it out of there. So I'm always looking for the liver and I'm trying to use the ball of my foot to catch it there. Okay? So step one, step two, step three. Okay? So now as I carry it all the way through in a little bit more faster motion, I'm just going to step all the way through and I can slide around and catch it. Okay? One more time. Okay, now let's go. This angle, so you're here, right? Yeah, good. So as you can see now, we're uh, we have those tracks. You shouldn't be able to see me very well until I step out for my kick. So now here, and I can fire that kick. Okay. So basic steps. If I'm standing in front, I'm lined up. I take the hook and move my feet, spot, that way I can lift my leg and fire the kick off. Okay? So now let's go over the set, which is probably one of the more important things, because you don't just want to spin to spin. Uh, if you've been trained, um, if you've been trained in any type of traditional martial arts, anything like that before, you can recognize when somebody's going to spin pretty easily. Usually the stand starts to turn in a little bit more, and you can see that spin coming a mile away. So keep that in mind too, if you have somebody uh, in an upcoming fight that you know likes to spin. Watch that lead foot. That lead foot will usually give it away. Okay? And that's why we like to stay square until the last second before we go, so that way we're not just letting them know that we're about to spin. Okay? At the same time, for me, if I'm gonna set it up, I'm not gonna set it up on purpose. I'm gonna use something that she does to tell me when it's time to spin. So, one of my favorite combinations, one of the best combinations in Muay Thai kickboxing, uh, MMA, hook low kick. Okay? So, when I throw my hook low kick, right, I'm, I'm counting on them to either cover for the kick or eat the punch even better, right? And that helps me load up that low kick, right? So I'm from here and I'm chopping the leg. I have a whole series off of this, things that I'll do. But one of the first things that tells me it's time to spin is when I throw my hook and I don't hit anything. So if Aaron fades, now I don't have that same handle that I had before to throw that low kick. So when I throw the hook and the low kick, here I have this nice handle to help me rotate myself into that kick, okay? But when I throw that hook and there's nothing there, now I need something different because the, the low kick's not gonna be there. Plus, there's a good chance that she's fading so she can throw a cross, right? So I miss and I go to throw that low kick and now I get caught standing on one foot. I don't want that to happen. So, 
when I miss, that's my cue. So I throw the hook and I miss. I keep my hands up. So now I'm gonna allow her to fade again. And this time I'm gonna use that hook to carry me through and land my body shot. So, as you can see, in the normal uh, situation we're sparring, we're fighting, I come out, I'm using my hook low kick, boom, boom. Yeah, I'm using that hook low kick, boom. I throw it and she fades, I retreat a little bit, and now I go, boom. And it works even better if they fade and come back because now they're getting all their body weight into the kick as well, okay? So set up for the, uh, the spinning kick, so set up for the spinning kick, we throw the hook and the low kick, wait for them to fade, as soon as they fade, that's our cue. So we're not forcing it, they're showing us when it's time to go. Thanks to Action Pro Gear for the awesome gloves, also Muay Thai Attic for uh, getting our designs exactly the way that we want them. Also check out Urban Ninja at UrbanNinjaShop.com. Thanks guys.